Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this new morphic button using HTML and CSS. Now we also have hover effect for this button. So if I hover over this, we can see we have this effect right here. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. Now there are some issues with accessibility when using new morphic buttons. So here we can see we don't have a lot of contrast between the background and this element. So this can make it difficult for users with poor vision or color blindness to use it. So you have to keep these things in mind when using these kinds of designs. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Right here I have opened up this folder called new morphic button and I opened it with VS code. Now let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create a file called index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. So I'll just name it style.css. Let's start with the index.html file. And uh, let's type exclamation and press tab for this uh, basic HTML5 code. And here I'll just link the CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href I'll just type style.css. Now in the button we also need to have this icon over here. So for that we'll be using font awesome icons. So here I have googled for font awesome 5 CDN. And you can find this link over here of cdnjs.com. So let's go to the link. And let's copy this uh, CDN link from here. So I'll just click on this button called copy link tag. And let's go back to our uh, code and I'll just paste it over here inside the head section. All right, now let's continue with the design. And here in the body, I'll just create a button. And for the button, we will have a class of new morphic button. And here for the text, I'll just type click here. And before the text, we also need to have this uh, icon. So let's go to fontawesome.com. And let's search for the icon over here. So I'll just type bookmark. And here you can see this is the icon. Let's click on this. And let's click on this code to copy it. All right, now let's go back to our HTML and let's paste it over here before the text. All right, now we have the icon and the text and we have this button over here. So let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So you can just install it. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. Now here we can see we have this button and we also have this icon. All right, now let's start with the styling. So let's go to style.css. And first of all, I'll just add some styles to the body. So I'll just type body. And here we'll just type background. And for the background, we will set a color of E6, E6, E6. And let's bring this to the center. So I'll just type display of grid and place items. And I'll just set it to the center. And we'll also set the height to 100 viewport height. And let's also remove the margin. Right now we can see this button is in the center. Now let's style the button. And for the button we have this class of new morphic button. So let's select that over here. So I'll just type dot new morphic button. And we will set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom. And uh, 36 pixels left and right. And we'll set the border radius to 24 pixels. So now we can see we have rounded corners. We'll also remove the border. So I'll just type border and we'll just set it to none. And now let's set the font family to Roboto. And we'll also set the font size to 30 pixels. And uh, we'll set the font weight to 900. And let's set the background color of this button to the same color that we added over here. So I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here. And let's set the color of the text to 001D3D. All right, now we will have a little bit of space between this icon and this text. So if we go back to our HTML, we can see that we have this icon. And for the icon, we are using an i tag. So let's go back to our style.css file. And let's target the i tag. So I'll just type new morphic button i. And we'll set a margin right. And we'll set it to 16 pixels. All right now we can see we have this space between the icon and the text. All right now when we hover over this button, we need to have the cursor set to pointer. So I'll just type cursor pointer. And now when we hover over this, we have this pointer. All right, now let's add the most important property for a new morphic design, which is box shadow. So let's type box shadow. And we need to have two box shadows for new morphic design to work. So for the first one, I'll just set a value of three pixels, five pixels, 12 pixels. And for the color, I'll just type C0, C0, C0. And for the next shadow, we'll just copy this and we need to negate some of these values. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And here we'll just type negative three and negative five. And for the color, we'll just set it to white. 
And now we can see we have this button which looks like it is extruded from the background. So this is how new morphic elements are designed. Now the last thing we need to do is add the hover effect. So here I'll just type new morphic button colon hover. Now for the hover I'll just copy this line of code from here for the box shadow and I'll just paste it down here and here we need to set the box shadow to inset so that the box shadow is inside the element and even here we'll just set it to inset. Now let's hover over this button and now we can see we have this uh, hover effect and we'll also change the font size a little bit. So here I'll just type font size and we'll just set it a little less than the font size over here. So here we have 30 pixels and here in the hover effect I'll just type 29 point let's say 8 pixels and now if you hover over this we can see that it looks like the button is being pressed. Now you can also go ahead and fine tune these values over here so I'll just set this to 10 instead of 12 and even here I'll just set it to 10 pixels and I'll also add a border so I'll just type border and we'll just set it to 2 pixels solid and RGBA and here I'll just type 255, 255, 255 and 0 0.2 for the opacity. All right now let's hover over this button and we can see we have the hover effect and it looks all right. So that's basically how you create a new morphic button using HTML and CSS. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.